So I am starting out with my skin and I'm priming my face using my Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade just to act as a nice base for my foundation. And I'm using an oldie but a goldie. This is the Dior Forever Foundation. Um, I'll have the complete name listed down below, but I'm using the Exo Beauty Flawless Finish Sponge to just press this all into my skin and give myself a nice even coverage. Starting out with the eyes, I'm priming using MAC Painterly Paint Pot as per usual, so I'm just applying this with my finger to my eyelids. And then the first eyeshadow I'm going in with is Makeup Geek, Makeup Geek Creme Brulee, which is one of my all-time favorite shades, and I'm just buffing this right into the crease using a Sigma E40 brush. Then moving on to Makeup Geek Mocha, I'm using the same brush and just starting to do the same thing except focusing it more in the outer corner and really blending it out into sort of a winged out kind of look. Then going in with a deeper brown called Americano, I'm using a MAC 217 brush which is a little bit more precise and I'm just focusing this right in that outer V and really packing it on there and then blending it into the other shades. And then for my lid, I'm using ColourPop eyeshadow in number three. Like that's what the color is called, just three. Um, so I first started applying it with a brush, but then it worked much better with a with my finger. Sorry, so I started applying it with my finger after that. Then just going back in with the 217 brush, I'm just blending the edges to make sure everything's nice and seamless. And then I just went back in with the first blending brush which is the E40 and blended that out as well. Then I'm taking Makeup Geek Corrupt which is a super matte black and I'm first spraying my brush with some MAC Fix Plus and just applying it to the lash line and this is a super easy way if you're not very good at eyeliner um, you can just use an eyeshadow and it's much more forgiving so I created a little wing with this and then just sort of softened it kind of thing. Um, then I'm applying some black liner to my tight line and curling my eyelashes um, and then I'm going to apply my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Then going into the EXO Beauty Party Stack Lashes, I'm taking this pair here, I'll have the name of them listed down below but I'm just applying those. And then to conceal my face, I'm taking the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. Oh, I can't speak properly today, I'm so sorry. And I'm just concealing under my eyes and all down the center of my face. My skin is super dry at the moment, so this concealer is the best one for it. And I'm just going in with the Flawless Finish Sponge once again to blend everything out using the little pointy end. Then to give my skin some bronziness, bronziness. <laughs> I'm just using the Bourjois Cream Bronzer and I'm just applying this with a stippling brush. This gives it a nice airbrushed kind of effect and just makes everything look super nice and soft. So I'm applying that to all the usual areas. And then to set my face, I'm using my MAC MSF Natural in Light Plus, just in all the areas where I concealed. And I just pinched my brush to get underneath my eyes. And then to set the cream contour, I'm just going to use Makeup Geek Bad Habit Contour Pan. So using an EXO Beauty Bronzer Brush to go over all of those areas. And this just helps define my cheekbones a little bit more and all of those areas. Then for blush, I'm taking this beautiful blush from the Jaclyn Hill & Becca palette. Um, this one is called Rose Spritz or Rose Spritz. Um, and I'm applying those to the apples of my cheeks. And then to highlight, I'm using the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlight in the shade Sin, and just using that on an Eco Tools fan brush on the center of my face. And then I'm just going to set everything with the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. And then back onto the eyes, I'm taking Creme Brulee once again and buffing that underneath the lower lash line with my Sigma E40 brush. 
And then going in with Americano once again on the MAC 217. I'm just really focusing that underneath the lower lash line and buffing it out, making sure everything's nice and smoky. And then I took the ColourPop shade in three once again and used my finger to apply this to the lower lash line. Then I just applied some Gimme Brow to my eyebrows just to pick up the hair so it made them look a little bit more natural and sort of full and kind of bushy. Um, I love this product so, so much. I'm pretty sure you guys have figured that by now. And then to highlight my inner corners, I took MAC Nylon Eyeshadow, which is one of my all-time favorite shadows. And then with no additional product, I took the brush I used with the black um, eyeshadow and just pushed that along my lash line to thicken it up. Then just going in with a metallic brown pencil in my waterline to make the eyes stand out a little bit more. And then I just coated my lower lashes in some mascara. Moving on to the lips, I used ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Frickin' Frack and I just applied that all over the lips and that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.